it's never before in my life have I taken a journey of 12 hours or 24 hours with no change in the landscape around me, with, with nothing changing in what I'm looking at. I've had an obsession about coming here for at least the last few years since I've been doing my postdoctoral research on climate change aesthetics. Mm. I actually had a, a dream to um, get aboard a scientific mission to Antarctica. Antarctica is a place that is communicated as being central to our understanding of planetary systems um, such as climate change or climate sciences, the geophysical sciences. It's a place that everyone is told about, a place that everyone uh, is expected to care about, a place that grabs the imagination, um, that seems both otherworldly and intensely connected to, to everything else in this planet. Antarctica is so central to many of our contemporary narratives, and yet uh, most people will never go there. We choose to go here in order to find a way to communicate perhaps an undiscovered aspect of Antarctica's cultural potential. We do that with artists and philosophers and thinkers in the hope that they may find a way to interpret Antarctica anew. But it's the idea behind it, more than composing a piece of music, the idea is to look at the ways that data about a place or like the sort of impressions that we gather about a place can be translated and ask if, if when we have translations, uh, are, is there knowledge that's sort of gained through translation?
just observing the forms that the ice makes and, and the, the icebergs that we've gone by um, and the, these glaciers coming down mountains or just the accumulation of snow. Um, to me, there's this process of sedimentation, of compression, of collapse that is repeated in these shapes that we keep seeing, which I think is not a normal thing to see. Um, it's very much a kind of visual signature of this environment I've, I've been finding. Uh, interdependence, you know, um, even what we, what we found out is that even the, the, even the, the what we thought was the most remote and the most um, detached of places is is actually um, deeply relevant, and 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 what's more, that there is great pleasure to be drawn from that, and uh, as well as as fear to a certain extent, but it's it's both a, a place which which delights and, and brings um, strong emotions of wonder and at the same time frightens us and, uh, and its ability to, to echo across the world and in, in, across the, the climatic um, issues. Mm -hmm.